Can you do a ponytail in medium length locks using only two bands? Huh? Huh? I can. Stay tuned to find out. Hey everyone, Tracy here. Thanks so much for tuning into my channel. Today I wanted to come to you with a way of making a ponytail in your locks without using a whole lot of bands, but even though you might need some bands. So I got two, I'm going to, I'm about to drop them. I got two I'm going to demonstrate with and show you how I've did that before finding my so-called knee-high stocking that I can't even find right now. So it's somewhere, so I did got these bands. These bands I did, I got from uh, the hair store and it was like maybe five or six of them in a pack. One of them was long like this and the other one was short like this. And I think it was like maybe six or seven of them in a pack for like maybe $6.99 a piece. But they, you know, a nice like little rubbery band. I hope you all can see, but it's real stretchy and it don't have no silver steel post on it like how some of those bands does to connect it together this is just a flat out uh elastic band okay so i'm going to show you guys how i made this ponytail so if you are interested please stay tuned first things first if you're new here and it's your first time viewing any of my content welcome and thank you so much for stopping by and if you are a subscriber and you are coming back to check this out to see just what i'm talking about welcome y'all welcome 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 i see you and thank you so much for your support so i'm gonna go right here and get into this because i don't want this video to be too long so first things first what i like to do is i like to just take some plain water and just moisturize my hair with it just loosen it up it don't have to be so wet wet just to give it like a damp a damp like feeling i like that more better okay just make sure i just tap on everything okay and i just squeeze the water into the hair that's all it kind of makes the hair more flexible okay so now what i'm going to do you want to try to get it into one big ponytail now this would be the time where if you want to leave some out or whatever you want to do with your size, this would be the time to either, you know, leave how much hair you want to leave out and all that good stuff. So I'm just going to leave just like this because I don't want none out. And what I'm just going to do is put the majority of the hair up into a ponytail and grasp it into my hands. Let me stand back so you all can see. All right. We'll do it just like this. All right. So once again, I'm using two bands. So I'm gonna use this one. No, I'm gonna use this one first. Why it's the smallest, and I ain't gotta put that much hair onto it. So it'll just be easier to use this one first. Okay. All right, so now I got this up into a ponytail just like this. Okay, so I'm gonna get this ponytail holder and I already have it in hand. And I'm going to show you what I do with the bag. With the bag, I just comb through the hair like this with my hand and bring it up to that top ponytail. Okay? I just comb through it with my hands just like this. Okay? Making sure I even it all out as much as I possibly can. So now it's up just like this. Now I take this band and I just put around it hold it like this and I just put it around like this. And there, that's it. This is what I do. If I want to do it with the two, you know, with the more than one. Now with these bands right here, they are so much better and you only need a two. And this time you could just pull up whatever needs to be pulled up, you know. This is where you want to adjust your ponytail. Some you might want to leave up, some you want to leave stuck in. It's all about how you want to wear the ponytail, but this is basically it, y'all. And as you can see, I have a high ponytail. See? So I only did this ponytail with two ponytail holders. I didn't need six, and this works just fine. Now at this time, you can go back in there 
after you know you put your ponytail holder in you could go back in and like pull up on what little parts you want to pull up on and style it and prep it the way that you like it okay this will be the time to do that and just let it be all right and then if you want some you know hang it down like this that's the time you could just pull it on down but I just usually keep this one up so I just take it and stick it underneath the lock just like that and then it won't come back out no more. If it does, it's not long enough where you can stick, just take like a bobby pin or something. But you can always hide, you know, a lock in between another lock. You know what I mean? So yeah, this is really it, y'all. Let me see, can I flip around so you can see? And make, for goodness sake, make sure that it's not pulling. You don't want it to pull at all. You want it to be in there right and nice and neat, but you don't need to pull on it. Because when you pull it, it makes it uneven and it makes it stick on it. Once you pull one in, it looks like you got to pull the rest and it's just like an ongoing thing. So that's the reason why you want to smooth it up where you want it at and then put the band on it. And then you should have it just the way you like it. So really, this is it. I wanted to come in with this quick video to show... Um, how I did mine when my hair it really wasn't long enough to where I could put it all up into one even though I still had that problem but this is the way I solve it if I want all my hair up and off of my face because it's hot now so I understand and this is the perfect way to do it at this time you could put your uh, fix your edges and gel it up and all that good stuff and you'll be on top so yeah this is it so and that's it with this video. I hope that you liked it. I hope that it was informative. If it helped you, let me know in the comment section. If you got any questions, leave them in the comment section. I'll get back to you. If there's any videos or anything that you'd like to see from me, leave that in the comment section. So with that being said, I'd like to thank you so very much for watching. Did this help you out? Did it? Did it? Anyway, <laughs> thanks for watching. Wish you all well. So until the next bit, peace.